Good morning, what's going on guys? How is your day going? Today, I am super excited because it is the very first day of the vlog. Oh my god, launched Explore with Mac. It's finally, it's been about two months and if you guys don't know what this is, it is a daily lifestyle travel vlog that myself, Max, Max, Max Chestnut, uh, is I'm doing this for you guys because um, I really want to make something that inspires others to go travel and go explore what they really want to do in life. And uh, for a little backstory: two months ago, I decided to quit, quit my job here, leave my apartment, sell everything I have, and uh, go on a massive trip. And in nine days, I'm doing that. I'm leaving here in Seattle and spending two months traveling all across Europe, going to Iceland, London, France, um, ending in Croatia, and then I don't know where from there. But today, I have an adventure of my own. I'm gonna go see my dad because I don't know when the next time I will be able to see him is. Across the road. So, I actually need to go pick up my friend's dog Cody, who I'm dog sitting today, and then hop in a car and uh, head up north to Bellingham. So I'm gonna head over there and grab Cody, and then I'm, I'm on my way. All right, guys, let's go get Cody. So guys, check this out. It's yoga in the park. And there's also a skate bowl. <laughs> God, I love Seattle. There's a lot of fun things that go on here constantly. I'm gonna miss the city, but I'll definitely be back here soon. <laughs> Guys, check this out though. What? Look at this bike. It's an old Harley Davidson, or I don't know, old or new, but it's freaking awesome next to the next to the Subi. Oh guys. What do you guys think of motorcycles? I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I've been considering taking my test and trying to get one, but I know I know like probably a lot of you, your parents. Well, mostly my mom would murder me if I did. <laughs> she really doesn't want me to have one, but my dad used to have a motorcycle um, when he was my age, and I don't know. I think it would be fun to have a motorcycle, especially when I'm traveling around Europe. Just be able to grab a bike and go. But I don't really know what it takes to get your motorcycle's license. I should probably look into that. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below, and if you do ride a motorcycle, what motorcycle do you ride? And if you don't, what motorcycle would you ride? Oh. Ready to head out to Bellingham. Um, I got my stuff packed up. We have Cody. He's ready. So let's uh, let's boogaloo, guys. Oh 
coming out guys we just left the garage and I just realized I have no gas so I guess we're gonna stop off get some gas and uh, get back on the road should be up there in about two three hours my time but for you guys it's gonna be like less than 30 seconds Bellingham yet. I'm actually stopping off just uh, a little bit south of Bellingham to pick up uh, my mom's car actually. I'm gonna switch with her because uh, it just gets better gas mileage and it's a Prius so it's a little bit nicer than my old car that's literally older than me. But um, yeah we're just gonna run by there, grab the car from her and then we'll be right back on the road. Alright, just getting up here to Fairhaven, I'm about to see my dad, we're going to have a late lunch, and then we're going to take the dogs out, and then there's a concert afterwards, so a lot of fun things happening, but uh, I'm about to pull up right now, so I uh, will throw you back here. Right, we arrived. Hey, Cody, we're here. You ready? All right, I need to put my shoes back on, but we finally arrived. Let's get some food and uh, get this dog out of the car. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a lifesaver. My dad got me a burger some fries, a milkshake, and I'm just getting some work done. And oh my god, this, I know it's bad for me, but I don't care because it's so good. <laughs> I just want to show you guys that because it, it's just what I needed. <laughs> Check the closet first, or under the bed, you'll be all right. It's gonna go well. Okay. Sorry about what happened earlier. Mm. I promise it won't happen next time. See <laughs> that it shan't. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm late, honey. Long day at work. How was it? Kid saw me. They kicked me in the nuts. <laughs> I'd like to say the only thing bruised is my pride, but I haven't gone to the bathroom yet to check. <laughs> but you know that if, if a child were ever to just kick you in the jollies like that, it would alter the system. Now you don't get any nightmares anymore. No. What are we going to do for imaginary money? I don't know. Honestly, as far as imaginary money goes, it's not what's important. What's important is that we love each other, sure. and that we're committed, and that together as a unit, a happily married couple, with nothing to worry about. Look, now that you're going to be broke, I can tell you I have a real life husband. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you for how evil you 
were, how much power you had, all of our imaginary nightmare money. I love that you're using past tense. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Are you now? You've decided to change who you are as a person? Yes. I realize that without all those things that made you who you are in my eyes, there's nothing there. Oh, that is, oh, this is fun. Let's just throw salt in that. That's great. <laughs> you're the boogie man. You can handle it. Stand-up comedy show by Ryan Stiles from Whose Line It Is Whose Line Is It Anyways is actually freaking hilarious. But guys, I'm sorry that I haven't shown more of Bellingham today, unfortunately, with my dad and his girlfriend, and uh, not a, they don't really like being on camera all that much, and I respect it. I want to spend time with them before I take off to Europe, just some one-on-one. -on -one. But you know, there'll be some more footage tonight. We're gonna go to one of the bars here, and then call it a night. And we'll, uh, we're gonna see you guys later, but if I don't see you later, I want to sign off now saying it's awesome to explore and I can't wait to go on this journey with you guys. So remember, explore with passion, explore your passion, and be the kindest person you can be every single day. It's only if I don't see you later. Alright, night guys. See you tomorrow.